on guys in this video I will be showing you guys how easy it is to replace the thermal paste on one of your graphics cards this particular card right here has been giving me issues um, with the temperatures I, I've been getting temperatures rising over the 90s which isn't good and the card itself isn't very dirty so you guys can see there's a little bit of dust buildup, but not a whole lot. So I'm thinking the culprit is the thermal paste back here. And I will be showing you guys just how easy it is to uh, replace it. Now whenever you're, you are opening a graphics card or handling any computer component for that matter, you do want to be strapped with an ESD strap. I'm being a little careless right now, but just as a warning, you do want to prevent any ESD damage. In order to open this guy, all you have to do is remove these four spring-loaded screws up here. And that's pretty much all that's holding the processor, the GPU processor, and the... PCB board to the actual cooling components of the card that's all it is just four screws now you want to be careful you don't want to just yank it out once you pull them out because the fans are connected usually back here somewhere so you just want to keep that in mind I'll start opening it up Uh, this guy seems to be having problems coming out. Oh, that's why. That actually might be the reason why it was overheating. It's just that screw wasn't in properly. It came out from this side, opposed to over here. But that's pretty much all there is to it. You want to be really careful. That's pretty much all there is to it. You guys can see there's very little thermal paste on that. Hardly anything. There's a bunch of little like bubble patches here and there that are pretty much dry. There's hardly anything on there and I'm pretty sure that's that's the reason why this guy was overheating. Now we'll be doing some benchmarks showing you guys the temperature differences. But that's it for now. I'll show you guys how to add the thermal paste in a bit. Now, when it comes to cleaning the processor itself, you want to use isopropyl al alcohol. And you want to be really careful with all the little chips around the processor itself. Although they're soldered on, you just, any little accidental nuts could rip them out of place and you really don't want to do that because you would ruin your car so just be really gentle but take as much as possible out without damaging the little components and you want to do the same with this guy also the heatsink itself just want to wipe it all off with a piece of cloth and a bit of alcohol and I forgot to mention this, but certain cards come with thermal paddings on certain voltage regulators or memory chips. If the particular card you're opening does have that, you want to put that back. You don't want to just take them on and toss them out. 
because they do make contact with parts of the heat sink certain like sections of the fins and things like that so you just want to be careful make sure you put everything back the way it came out when it comes to adding the thermal paste all you want to do is add either a little dot right smack in the middle or a thin line you don't want to smear it all the way across the processor that's just sloppy and it's unnecessary you don't want to do that I usually go for the dot but there's others that prefer the the line just a small little dab like that's enough You gotta remember the pressure of the heat sink's gonna spread everything out. You don't wanna add too much where it smears all the way around the other components, kinda like it was before. But yeah, that's about it. And then you put everything back the way you took it out. Now let's go test and see the results.